going to look at graphing points on a Cartesian coordinate plane. So here we've got an x-axis and a y-axis, and we've got a list of several points we're going to look at and graph. So let's start with this first one. Okay, A is 0, 3. So the first coordinate is always my x direction. So from the origin, you count 0 to the left and to the right, but then we're going to count 3 up the y direction. So that point A is going to plot right here on the y axis. Now let's look at the point 4, 1. Okay, so for 4, 1, I'm going to start at the origin and I'm going to move positive 4 to the right because that's my x direction, and then I'm going to move a positive 1 in the y direction, so I'm going to go up and that's going to be point B. Okay, point C is a positive 2, positive 2. So from the origin, I count to the right 2 and up 2. So that would place C right here. Okay, let's do one more of those. Now we're going to look at 6, 0. Okay, 6 is my x direction, so I'm going to go over 6 but up and down 0. So I'm going to land on the y axis for that one. I'm sorry, on the x axis for that one. Now let's look at some that actually have some different uh, signed order pairs. Okay, let's look at E. E has the sign number negative 4, positive 6. So from the origin, I'm going to go the negative direction this time, so negative 4, and then positive 6. That means I go up 6, so here's my point. Okay, and that is E. And that quadrant is actually considered quadrant 2. All the first points ended up in quadrant 1. And we count this 1, 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. So E ended up in quadrant 2. So the sign of all the points in quadrant 2 is a negative followed by a positive. Okay, F. F from the origin, I'm going to go negative 7. And then I'm going to go a negative 3. So this time I'm going to go down 3. So that puts F right here. And this is quadrant 3. So quadrant 3 is all negative, negative sign numbers. Okay, now let's look at G. Okay, G is positive 6, negative 4. So from the origin, I'm going to go over 6, but I'm going to go in the negative direction or down 4. So that puts us right here for point G. And that quadrant is quadrant 4. So we've just gone over the signs of the quadrants. Okay, quadrant 1, all the points in this quadrant are both positive. All the signs in the second quadrant are a negative followed by a positive. All the signs in quadrant 3 are negative followed by a negative. And in quadrant 4, you're going to go positive and then negative. So all the signs over here are positive, negative. Now, when you end up landing on an axis, that means one of your variable or one of your, your coordinates is zero. So zero, three landed on the y-axis and six, zero landed on the x-axis because that's where their values are. So I hope this video was helpful on graphing points.